After getting blown out at home by Tennessee, head coach Lovey Smith said, don't tattoo that performance on us. Wait a little bit to see exactly who we are. Sunday at the Superdome, the Bucks proved they were not only a completely different team than they were in week one, but they also weren't the same old Bucks that lost 14 games in 2014. Last year, we got two wins the whole season, so we were halfway there already. After controlling the game for three quarters, turnovers on back-to-back -back plays nearly cost the Bucks a win in New Orleans. Last year's team may have crumbled under the weight of a late collapse. This year's team did not. You have to eventually win a game. You know, we continue to preach it. We're not. This is the 2015 version of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And before today, we were just 1-0 with a disappointing loss. But for us and the guys who have been around here, we, need to be, we needed to be in a tough, close game and pull it out at the end. Everybody said the same thing on the sideline. It's our job. It's our job. So instead of saying, you know, oh, man, we're saying, you know, let's be resilient. Let's go out there and be the resolve on this team. You know, we overcame a lot today, um, you know, besides the two, the two turnovers that we had. Um, we got the crowd noise, um, the injuries, and, you know, that's adversity. And the great ones adjust adversity well, and that's what we did as a team. Tampa Bay's defense led by example, forcing three turnovers, including one at a critical juncture late in the fourth, and then preventing Drew Brees and the Saints from tying the game in the final seconds. I was so pumped up on that last drive. I was like, we playing against Drew Brees. They like, Jameis, get back off the side. I'm like, we playing against Drew Brees. This guy is amazing. Anything can happen. It shows the maturity of this team and what this team is trying to do, you know, with the, from, the, from the general manager, the owners, the coaching staff, what we're all trying to do. We're not just trying to be a young group of guys and say, you know, just have fun playing football. We put a better product on the field this week, and there's a lot of room for improvement. And, uh, you know, you can only pat yourself on the back so long. We're going to enjoy this, but... Houston is coming up. We need to go on the road again and win in another hostile environment. The next game is the most important game right now. This game is behind us already, unfortunately. Uh, we got a win. We're going to celebrate. It's a, it's a one in the win column. You know, we're we trying to get more of those.